Welcome back to Longtime Toolies. Kyle here. Today we have a real quick video on squaring up a miter saw. Last week we took care of our table saw. So this week we're going to take care of this. I got a sliding compound 10 inch miter saw here. Nothing fancy, just a pretty basic sliding compound miter saw. So first thing, as with everything, make sure when you're working on these tools to unplug them. Just unplug them. Doesn't matter if your hand's not even gonna be up here. Look at that. Just unplug it, make sure it's safe. So I got mine unplugged. Real quick, before I go any further, I didn't mention this last week. Before you bust out your saw and use it, whatever it is, circular, miter, table, I don't know, what other, jig, jig saw, whatever, the, whatever saw you got, go ahead and put a nice quality blade on it. Just spend a couple extra bucks, get a nice blade. I'm not gonna advertise for anybody. You can see mine's red. I like the red blades. They're really sharp. They hold an edge well. And for what I cut, they'll go through hardwood, softwood. It doesn't really matter. So go ahead. If you're gonna pony up for a, for a nice saw, not a, not a Harbor Freight one, chaps. Go ahead, get yourself a nice blade too. It will make the saw much more enjoyable. You'll get better cuts. The wood won't get ruined. Wood's so goddamn expensive now, you don't wanna ruin it. So go ahead, don't be a cheap ass, get a nice blade. All right, here we go. So we wanna make sure this thing's gonna cut square. Now on a sliding one, you got a few extra steps to take. We're just gonna go and do a few of the basic stuff. Uh, make sure the fence is square and the blade is square to the, to the fence and all that stuff. So first thing, first thing, let's go ahead, let's square up our fence. Now here you see, this is our fence. You put the wood up against it. It's got little marks. I don't ever use those. I don't know, I just mark my wood. This is a single, just a, a unibody fence, I think it's called. I don't really know, but it's just one piece. Now we have in the back an Allen bolt there and two bolts back here. Now to adjust the fence, you would undo these bolts. So here I have the key. A little Allen, a little Allen guy. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen these before we get going. Now we see it's loose. It's nice and loose. So this side's got one. We're gonna square this side up first because everything will just pivot off that. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we have a combat, we have a speed square here. I guess you could also use a combination square. I have that for when we square the blade up. Got your speed square. We're gonna put it right along here. Now let's get this pulled up nice and square. Make sure it's flat along the side. You can see that's just a, a nice square edge. So we're gonna square it up to that. Push it back a little bit. Bring it all the way up, all the way up. We're gonna force it all the way up. All right, so there you can see that square all the way across. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that bolt in the back. We're gonna tighten that down. Now we'll move over to the other side. All right, so here we are on the other side. You can see it's not square yet. We have a gap right there. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna push this back just a little bit. Now what that means is we're gonna have to go to the other side. We're gonna have to go to the other side and square it up because it moves. It's one unit, it's one body. So let's pin this far edge down. That way it'll pivot off that as we move to the other side. Okay, we are back on the other side. Let's go ahead and loosen this, this up. Now see, it did, it went out of square. So we're gonna push that back a little bit. Got it nice and square there. Go ahead, pin that down. Now I'm gonna go check the other side. Now you can see we're square. That's a nice square fence. So when we put a work piece, So when we put our work piece up against it, there we go, that's it. Now it's square on this side too. So when we put our work piece up against it, we feed it in, it'll be square. So now we gotta square the blade. We gotta make sure the blade is square to the fence. So let's get going on that. All right, so now we have to square the blade to the fence. See here, here's my blade. It's a 10 inch, 62, pretty good general purpose blade. So we got it, we're gonna put the fence and the, the, we're gonna put the speed square up against the fence. Now let's, 
pick that tooth right there. See where that tooth? We're gonna move it. You can listen. You hear that? It. Make sure it's square. It stays just up against there the whole way. Back and forth, back and forth. That's pretty good. That's pretty square. So we got the fence square to the table. We got the blade square to the fence. Now let's square the blade to the table. All right, so now we're gonna square the, the blade to the table or to the surface to where the wood goes down flat. So we got our our six inch combination square. You can get also, you can use whatever you got for it. Just anything that's square. We're just gonna run it right here. You see, let, let me move you over just a little bit. Okay, so here we go. You see, I got the combo square flat on the deck and then uh, I got it pressed up against the saw. Now make sure when you're doing this, you're not butt up against the teeth on some, some blades. The teeth come far out. This one's kind of thin. So we're gonna just make sure it's flat there and then press it flat there. You can see there isn't any daylight. That, that blade, that blade is flat. That blade is perfectly flat to the table. So we got everything squared up now. All right, toolies, that's all we got for today. Just wanted to score up a miter saw, get it nice and tuned up. We got everything nice and, and even, everything square. We got our 45s, we got our 90s. We got a nice quality blade on this. So next time, when we get to cutting, we got some good clean cuts. We're not wasting lumber, we're not wasting time, we're ready to go. That's all you really gotta do. You probably got your speed square already. Just go ahead, put it up against the fence, make sure the blade's nice and square. Other than that, I got nothing else for you today. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram, at Longtime Toolies. We got a Pinterest page, Longtime Toolies. Go ahead, check us out, interact with us, let us know what else you wanna see, leave a comment, roast us. I don't care. It really doesn't matter to me. So uh, just, you know, check us out. We'll see you next time.